Hello YouTube <clears throat> So I recorded this video earlier but for some reason the sound was messed up I don't know if it's gonna go through okay this time but um, hmm. So anyway I was talking about cold weather riding this morning It was um, It was around It gets to low 40s around uh, Around where I live uh, in the morning so right now it's kind of foggy i don't know what's going on it was dry this morning but it was uh, dry cold this morning so now it's a little bit better um in the morning it's usually around uh, low 40s um it gets really frosty like uh when you wake up cars are all frosted over and uh there's ice on the road because since there's there's ice on the cars the the, peop the you know, people wash their they, you know they kind of rinse their cars with water just to get the ice off and that creates uh you know those dark uh black eyes and stuff like that and you don't see them but if you just uh, you be careful i mean if you're on a bike you kind of see more things than uh people in the car so you'll notice it i mean it looks shiny So just uh, make sure you're upright going through that, you know, uh, if you're in a turn then just kind of uh, brace yourself, I don't know. Um, never really had a problem with that, I never slipped, but uh, never say never. So always be mindful that, you know, there are those during this, uh, during, during the winter time. That's the worst of what I have to deal with, you know, some people have to, you know, ride on the snow and stuff, so I'm okay with it. It's just, uh, so what I mean, I was my topic was what you know, I'm wearing a full gear right now. I'm uh, this is not a winter, it's not a winter specific gear, it's just I have all the linings, um, attached to all the uh, my pants, my over pants here. So I have my regular pants, and there's a a um, a lining. A liner and then there's the overpant so there's like three layers in here so I don't feel any cold at all and the jacket is like a, it's like a touring jacket it's like a sport touring jacket for dual sports and stuff um, it works fine it has a liner too the wind doesn't get through it it's just my face and uh, the gloves get through uh, the the cold gets through it I have a thin fleece uh, glove that I wear inside here. Not right now because right now it's okay. But in the morning, it still gets through it for some reason. So I think it's just the design of the glove that's just, it lets, it breathes out. So um, it's manageable. I don't think I have to buy new gloves just for this uh, season because it doesn't last very long. I mean, I don't know. It depends on this year. I don't know how long it will be. But like I know, I mean, like I said, this morning was, was horrible, but right now it's fine so if you're gonna carry all that heavy gear just and then not use it later on it's just kind of a extra work so it's kind of raining right now it's kind of dense I should have the sock on but it's not pouring so the intake will be fine and what else is there I mean, do you guys have any uh, specific gear? I was thinking about doing the uh, heated, electronically heated gear. It's just I don't want to go through the wiring and the setup. You know, I just for me, if you have to do a lot of things to get it running, you won't use it. I'm that cut, you know, because sometimes I I write all the time, I write every day, I write to work. It's just I don't have that much time sometimes. I just sometimes I wake up late and I just have to go wear your gear and get out so this is the fastest thing because under here is my you know my work clothes so i can just take the jacket out the pants off and it's i'm already dressed i don't have to change i'm wearing the same shoe the boots um is not a motorcycle boot but it's like an outdoor winter boot so it's pretty tough it's a clark's brand so i mean it's pretty tough it's not a it's not like a racing boot for motorcycles but it's it does the job for me. Sold 
my uh, suspension order from Rycor. Um, nothing bad about them. It's just, uh, well, they're kind of bad on uh, my reason for canceling. So I ordered the shock November 19. They haven't shipped it out until they never shipped it out actually. So uh, when I, but I asked uh, when I asked for the refund, they did process it the same day. You know, I got my refund back. Uh, I got the PayPal notification. I got a refund back. That was pretty good. So it's just, I guess they're really working on this, and it's taking it's taking some time to build these. It's just there's some other companies out there that would do it faster, and I needed it to be quick. So that sucked. So I have to find a new solution uh, for my suspension. So <laughs> we're back to square one on that.